statements. Donald Trump releasing a statement that he will not be debating Senator Sanders before the California primary on June 7th. So here's the statement. As much as I want to debate Bernie Sanders and it would be an easy payday, I will wait to debate the first place finisher in the Democratic Party, probably crooked Hillary Clinton or whoever it may be. My guests are back. Kurt, this is Gail, Jessica. So Gail, is this the easy way out or a smart decision? It's a smart decision. He needs to run out the clock until the convention. And that would only give him an opportunity to be beat upon by Sanders. And it would deflect some of the attention away from Hillary. Hillary would love to see a debate between Sanders and Donald Trump. But he needs to keep his powder dry, wait till well, the she convention. Would and she wouldn't because it would also make her look very bad to not have a seat at the table. And it, so it would elevate Sanders even more than he's already been elevated by this kind of grassroots of passion. But on this idea of unity, Gail, sorry, I didn't mean to, to uh, cut you off there. Finish your point because I have a, a well, I think I think that is the conventional wisdom. A lot of people are saying that, but I don't think that's true. I think it would help Hillary because she would say she's not part of the circus. She She's a policy wonk and she rises above all that. So I think it would help her. Okay, that's an interesting point, meaning that she could say, I am presidential and uh, yes. kind of the outliers can fight it out in the outlier right. tent. Kurt, uh, speaking of outliers, unity, who knew that the Democratic convention was going to be spicier than the Republican <laughs> one, but it looks like that's what's happening. Mitt Romney is, stubbornly if you want to call it that, still the only Republican voice against Donald Trump. Why do you think that is? Well, well, there, there are a lot of them, Deidre. They're, they're getting fewer. But, you know, Mitt, you lost. Go away. You're done. You're finished. Now, I, I, now I got to tell you, Deidre, I'm depressed because I really wanted to see Bernie and uh, uh, Trump fight yeah, that it out good. Like <laughs> Trump versus Ken Cobb. It would be great. <laughs> and, and Donald Trump, who I'm going to vote for in the general, but I'm going to vote for Ted Cruz in the California primary because I'm a real conservative. Uh, <laughs> Donald Trump has to start doing what he says he's going to do. He said he would debate Bernie Sanders. I don't understand going back on what you say. Say what you do, well, he mean said what he you say, and to. then do it. <laughs> well, okay. You're the lawyer. Right, I'm Kurt. the lawyer here. I should be doing I the know. parsing. I'm thinking you're and the one supposed to be parsing muster. the language. I want to. It ask wasn't you a that. binding promise. There you go. Ahead of this yeah. primary, uh -huh. all eyes on California. I mean, this is the granddaddy of them all. It may leave Hillary limping towards the nomination. I mean, even the New York Times this morning, right? The headline: It is less of a sure thing for her. Jessica, as our resident yes. Democrat. What do you think, seriously, are Sanders' chances against Hillary Clinton in California? There are a lot of progressive pockets in California. Absolutely. And, you know, he's been out there, you know, having those huge rallies now for weeks. Uh, he has a great ground game out there. Uh, but in May, we do know he lost his California state director, the technology director left. He, and remember that group of supporters who wanted him to exit the race after California and create an independent organization to go after Trump? I mean, there are those within the Sanders camp who know how math works. It's not that many of them. I don't think it's Bernie Sanders himself, but it is out there. His chances are getting better and better. The Real Clear Politics average has Hillary just up by eight. That used to be much higher. And there have been recent polls where uh, she's only ahead by two. And then so there's that whole close. libertarian presence right. in Silicon Valley. And quite frankly, you never know how they're going to. No. Actually, there's a libertarian candidate or two who actually is polling at something like Gary 10%. Johnson is at 10 percent yeah. and with uh, Bill Weld, yeah. uh, who will be his running mate at yeah, there are a lot of things that could happen here. I still think that she wins, and it's going to be a small margin. And I think the argument will still continue to be that Sanders has the momentum here, even though she has the votes of the pledge delegates and, uh, but and all that jazz. But is she going to win really limping with, like, an arrow with blood coming out of Yeah, like side, a little like, pink arrow with the yeah. H going this go. way. Yeah. That's, what, that's <laughs> yeah. what the arrow's for. All right. Thank you all. Thank you for being here on a Friday Thank afternoon. You. So glad.